Hi, my name is Henry, and in this video, I'll share the story of how Google Plus launched and the three reasons why it failed. First, let's set up the context. Google Plus was launched in 2011. This was Google's fourth attempt at creating its own social network. The goal was to take market share from Facebook and Twitter. With Google Plus, users can post and share content with their friends. But the main value proposition was a special feature called Circles, which allowed users to group their friends and control the content they share with each group. Google Plus got early traction, but by 2018, it shut down due to low usage. So why did Google Plus not work out? These are the three reasons why it failed. Reason number one, the value proposition was not strong enough. Users didn't see a compelling reason to switch from other platforms. Circles was interesting, but it wasn't a must-have for users. Reason number two, Google forced users to join Google+. For example, if you had a Gmail or a YouTube account, you would get constant notifications to create a Google Plus account. This made Google Plus look desperate and turn people off. Reason number three, focus on vanity metrics. Google focused on user growth as a metric instead of engagement. As a result, they didn't properly develop the product to get product market fit. Users spent on average three to five seconds on Google Plus compared to several hours on Facebook. In summary, Google Plus serves as a great example of what not to do for large companies that are trying to enter a new space. The focus should be solving a real customer pain point, getting users to sign up organically, and measuring growth based on engagement. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment below on what kind of videos I should make next. Till next time, see you.